And we know that he wasn't fearful about tomorrow. He was secure. He was assured of God's power. He wasn't afraid. What about you and me? It seems to me that a big difference between Paul and many of us today is that in our world today, we're often encouraged to be fearful. To take just one example, we're encouraged to be afraid of people who are different from us. We're encouraged to be afraid of people who look different, or speak differently, or worship differently. We're told that we have to be fearful of strangers. We're told that we have to be fearful of people who come from other places, that people who come from other places are dangerous, that they pose some kind of a threat. We're told that we're in danger.
Lyman's father, Buzz Lyman, Gloria Barnes at Holyoke Health Care Center, Mary Pierce at Genesis at Westfield, Doug Falconer at Governor's Center, Joan Deacon, Marilyn McKinnon, Millie Billings, Marion White, Rita Willer's sister, Marjorie Hebert, Les Eldridge, Janet St. Jean's mother, Dot Haas, <coughs> at Genesis in Westfield, <coughs> Dan Murray, Helen Moravic, Nancy Kosowski's aunt, Shannon Brown's grandmother, Louise Ravenhill, and Steve Brown's mother, Diane Brown, Sandra Chamberlain's friends, George and Lynn Rippish, Tom Lorenzen's friend, Gail Buckley, Baby Emily, Hunter James Fiddler, Sandy Jasmine's niece, Debbie Hobart. And in our joys this morning, we celebrate an over 80 birthday on the 7th with Fred Mason. And we celebrate the birth of Thatcher William Thompson. Thatcher is the great grandson of Joan Deacon. May God be with you. And also with you. Eternal God, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Your creativity and your divine design are on display throughout all creation. The universe pulses with your purpose. The stars in their courses, the steady ebb and flow of the ocean's tides, even the rhythmic chirp of the crickets remind us of your faithfulness. It was your touch that set the galaxies in motion, your breath that stirred in the first human breast, your imagination that spins infinite variety into strands of DNA. Your ingenuity and your majesty pervade the cosmos, Holy One, and we are filled with wonder and joy that you have made us and called us to share with you in caring for the world. Great and gracious God, help us to know your will for this world and for us. We seek your wisdom. We seek to live according to your ways, but every day we wrestle with decisions. How do we know when to be silent and when to speak? We wonder, is this the time for us to reach out or to restrain ourselves? We struggle to find the best way to love, to help, to show we care. When we're hurt, we don't know when to assert ourselves and when to let it go. Lift us up, we pray, with your fearless spirit. Enlighten us with your wisdom. Fill our minds with a vision of peaceful communities. Illumine our minds with your clarity that we might come to understand your purpose. Hear now our prayers for all those in need of your healing touch. We remember especially members and friends of our congregation who are ill, or in the hospital, or in treatment for cancer, or recovering from surgery. And now, in the quietness of this place, we share with you the thoughts and meditations of our innermost.
morning offering will be gathered. Thank you. 